It's around midday and I'm just making my way along the beach down here at Rosnaga. Um, I put a note on Facebook this morning describing what uh, what should have been yesterday should have been Friday the 13th instead of today because I'm having to do the walk all over again simply because my video camera had a problem with the memory card and because I'd lost my glasses I couldn't see quite what I was doing properly pressed the wrong button and accidentally uh, made the memory card malfunction became useless and that was for the first 13 miles of the walk up to Aberthaw so after that I put up in a new uh, memory stick and recorded the last four miles when I managed to get back to the van by about half past seven So I'm really sorry about all the people that I spoke to yesterday who might be Looking at this program Expecting to see themselves. It's just one of those things. I'm afraid And I met some lovely people as well yesterday and I'm really sad about it. I'm quite upset it took me about four hours to sort out my computer because when I put the memory card into my big edit machine, the computer, it just crashed immediately. So it must have been serious and so I had to sort of reinstall it and mess around for a long time. So I didn't really get a great deal of sleep and I was quite upset about the whole situation. So I do feel a bit drained this morning. But the weather forecast quite good for this afternoon. It's perhaps just a little bit cooler this morning and the, the rain that was forecast is not going to happen and the sun's going to come out around about two o'clock. There's a, not a strong breeze, but there's a little bit of a breeze. But I've got my waterproof with me just in case because it does seem a bit changeable. Yesterday it looked as if it was going to rain all day, but it never did. And so I'm just making my way back and following my footsteps. The good news is, when I went into Aberfour, I went to the cafe yesterday where I had a cup of tea and they found my glasses on the floor. So, uh, they obviously slipped out of my pocket, so I, at least I got my glasses back. So, I, should, I won't be having the same problems today. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to take. I've only got to get to Aberfour, what, 12, 13 miles. It's going to be three to four hours. Then I need to just get a bus back here. There is a bus at one minute past four. So uh, I need to get there by four o'clock. I think I should do that quite comfortably.
of been going, I don't know, maybe just less than an hour now, making good progress. A lot of people might say, why are you having to film it again? Is it totally necessary to film it? Well, not that I'm a real perfectionist, if you understand what I mean, but when it comes to video projects and things like this, I've got this massive opportunity to do something that I really like, and that's walking and making videos. And if I'm gonna tell a story, I wanna tell the whole story. I don't want to make it like a book that's got pages missing and I'm going to spend a lot of years to come looking back <coughs> I'm going to spend a lot of years to come looking back at this and uh, it's for the grandkids as well and uh, so I, I do I, I do want to redo this particular day even the I know the scenery is basically the same, but the people work with the same. And uh, there's not many people around today. I think I think the weather forecast frightened a few people off, to be honest. Uh, but it's it's, uh, it's, only, it's only about half twelve, so I'm sure when the sun comes out, the people will be back on the beach again like yesterday, because there's quite a lot of people around yesterday. But uh, it should have been my rest day, actually. I did say I'm going to have every other day off when I walk in these longer distances, 17, 20 miles, but uh, I just had to get this done now and uh, I'll have an easier day tomorrow in Newborough Forest and I might even skip some of Newborough Forest because apparently one or two people have told me it's very boring and there's a very high risk at this time of year of horse flies taking chunks out of you so I might cut that down a bit and this extra walking that I've done today will make up for what I should be doing tomorrow.
it's three o'clock-ish and I've reached out before and I've just come for a cup of tea in the pub and I've met John and Morag. And Hello. Uh, they've, uh, they're on the island and, and what, what's your first impressions of, of, of the walks that you've been doing, Morag? Lovely. We've got beautiful coastal paths. You've got uh, a well-marked path. You've got absolutely wonderful beaches interspersed with wonderful rocky outcrops to go and play in or, or yes. just sit by and watch yeah, it's and take photos. That's, that's right, it's, it's breathtaking isn't it? Did yes. you, did, obviously John, you, you, know, you, you were saying you've done a bit of walking here as well and, yes, and yes. they've all been good experiences I suppose haven't they? Yes, yes, we, we, we've, uh, we've been particularly lucky at, at the moment, the weather's been in our favour so it's, it's been excellent walking time in, a, in, a, in a, an area that's uh, particularly good for walking the, yeah. the coastal path in either direction yes. has, has proved to be very very good i've thoroughly yeah. enjoyed it yes have, have you got any intention of perhaps doing the circuit which is about 128 miles i think Most only people... bit by bit that, well, <laughs> no that, well you, that's what i mean you can you, you can yes you can do oh, it, it mark, break it down into do yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yes yes yeah. yes because we've we've done bits of coastal walking in northumberland south wales West Wales, and all of it is fabulous. This, the yeah. English, uh, British coastline is wondrous. Yes. And therefore, in between doing, planning a, a sort of hill walking type yeah. walking holiday, we do tend to gravitate back and do some coastal walking. Right. And, and where is it that you live again, John? Sorry, you, you, you live in the West Riding. Uh, yes, so we live in Cleckheaton. Right. So I mean, the, there are walks available on the oh, North yes. Yorkshire Moors and stuff. Yes. Do, you, do you go yeah. up there? Yes. Is, yeah. Yeah. And he's not telling you that West Yorkshire itself is tiny and it's beautiful because there's a, a valley and the Calderdale Way goes up one ridge, yes. round, back down the other. With beautiful views either oh, side, yeah. so on our own doorstep we've got lovely walking. Well, that's right. I mean, you've got Malham and, and yes. Skipton and yep. and, that's all yeah. and, north, and yes. all of those yeah. places. I mean, Ill, Ill yeah, we've we've spent time up there, and, and it, it is beautiful. And you can go further afield, more or less up towards uh, Settled and Carlisle, yes. and, yep. and, and and you know, it's absolutely again, it's breathtaking. Yep. Well, we, we we spend a lot of time either cutting through the dales. Uh, and, and, and then over to the Lake District, yes. uh, which is not that far away, right. uh, but, but but on the and doorstep, um, as, as you quite rightly say there, it's such a skipped in the gateway to the Dales, that there's all sorts of, uh, we, we're actually encouraging a friend of ours to take to walking at the moment, and we, yes. we're doing the three peaks within Yorkshire, Right. Uh, and we, we've just recently done Penny Ghent with him, we, we've walked it numerous times previously, Right. Uh, but he's he, he's come to it at uh, a certain age in his life. And he's, I would advertise the fact that he's come to it at 65, Right. we've just got him walking, and right. it's been an absolute eye-opener for him, he's loving it. Well, I think the interesting thing, I, I mentioned this to somebody the other day about, you know, this, these interviews that I'm doing, I, I would say that 90% of them are of people of, of that age because who have retired on a discovery We've got the yes. time. And they've got, <laughs> and they've got the plenty of time and plenty of money and they can, they can go and find the nice yeah. places to walk and all the rest of it, you know, yep. and, 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 you know, it, it's, you don't see many teens and 20s and 30s on these walks, you know, I, 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 I know you do... I'm sure when, when you were saying you did the Pembroke Coast, I'm quite sure you'll see quite a lot of athletic young people having a go at that. Yeah. Maybe trying to break records or something or other. But, um, Good you on know, <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. And, and, and the thing I like about walkers, they're all friendly. You don't, you, everybody wants to talk to you and say, where have you been and, and where are you going and all this kind of yes, thing. Yes, because it, you, you mm -hmm. help one another out, don't you? Yeah. With, with, with um, information. Uh, bits of stuff. information yeah, yeah, yeah. as to what's there, and, uh, avoid this. And, and, and continue mm. on do that. It's, it's 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 very useful. Yeah. It's very therapeutic and very relaxing as well. Right. Uh, I think the health benefits have been seriously underestimated. We sadly at the moment don't have a dog because our elderly dog uh, died a few months ago. But normally we would have a dog, and yeah. the dog is one of the inspirations in. Yes get out get on with it yeah. whatever the weather yeah. we've got the kit uh the dog still has to go out and they they make you go out with them yeah absolutely Brilliant. 
Well, it's been a real pleasure meeting you. And I know we sort of walked side by side for a while and everything else. And, and so you, you surprise me now that you, you're going to walk all the way back. Yes, uh, yes, <laughs> yes, indeed, yes. Right, I'm getting the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I did this walk yesterday. Yes, you know, I've, 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 I've walked <laughs> and I've more or less taken exactly the same video of the same, more or less exactly the same things. The different people. But no, there's hardly any people out there today. Right. There's not many people at all. No, well, don't blame only you south, taking the bus back. But uh, no, this our plan was walk out. Enjoy a sit in the sun, yeah. have lunch, yeah. walk back. Sorry, John. Uh, well, I was, I was just going, uh, the, the, the only person that's come the distance uh, that, that we saw was yourself in, in, in the distance and then uh, yeah. uh, managed to meet up with you uh, here. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, great. Hope to see you again one day. Yes. Uh, you, uh, you can check me out on YouTube and you can check yourself out on YouTube tomorrow. Excellent, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> It's almost six o'clock now, and I've had a good day. Uh, I met some great people, uh, as you've seen already. I'm not far now from uh, the campsite. Um, it's only about a 5k walk from uh, the last village, which I've forgotten the name of. I'm sorry, my memory for these Welsh names is absolutely hopeless. Um, but I've enjoyed it and uh, it hasn't been as big a day as I expected. I've only, I've just checked and I've only done about 13 miles I would say. By the time I get to the campsite it'll probably be about 16, something like that. So not as big as one or two that I have been doing. But um, this last part, I'm walking along the main road. Well I say the main road, the road. And it goes through some sand dunes and uh, I opted not to walk on the sand dunes. I absolutely hate walking on soft sand and even though walking on a road can be a little bit boring and kind of mundane, it gets the miles done. And, uh, I'm walking pretty quickly so it shouldn't be too long. I did notice this morning uh, that in the village there's a a post office that sells fish and chips that's interesting so I hope it's open probably find it's only open on Fridays but be worth a look and there's quite a nice looking pub at the end so I might stop for a pint and uh, tomorrow's weather forecast is grim uh, so people tell me anyway they say it's gonna it's gonna start raining at 11 o'clock or thereabouts and it's going to be torrential. I've been following this big black cloud more or less all day. It's right in front of me at the moment, but uh, still warm and the sun's still shining from the west behind me. So um, we'll just see what happens.